Hey guys, for this video, I'm gonna be going over Mecha Frieza. So here I have Frieza, he's out of the box. He is well painted, well nice in detail. The chrome on him is really nice and reflective. Um, whatever position you put him on, he will stay. Um, so there's that. He is also on the tiny size, so if you do put him to another figure, um, it'll show him in the position that he, the size, the correct size. Um, so yeah, it's pretty well done. Um, he comes with four different heads and you do have to take off these two parts and put them on him. I don't know why they didn't include them in it, but or why you have to take them on and switch them and I didn't came with it. But oh well, he also gets uh, four different pairs of hands, um, four, uh, four, three for each, four for each hand, I apologize. So you got this one right here, closed, it's open with the finger and a little grabbing one. All, um, same thing with the middle one. What's nice is the fingernails are painted. So that's pretty cool. And you, so you, they really put nice attention uh, to him. The other thing that it comes with, it comes with stand and that's with this body. So technically you gotta take off the legs and you can put them and it's the part where he gets cut by uh, trunk. And here he is completely cut. You can see you just take it off. Oh, I forgot you gotta take off the towel and put it on him too. But if you do get trunks, uh, you could recreate that scene. And I gotta say that is awesome. Uh, just having trunks be able to cut him. Um, yeah. Overall, it's a cool figure. It's a nice addition to the Frieza form. But I gotta say price-wise, it's a little steep. He is around 140. That's how much it cost me. Um, but let me know what you guys think. All right, later.